All right, this is the Premium Revolver XS4, X4S. It's on a 2022 Dodge Ram Power Wagon. Doesn't look too bad, right? Pretty impressed with the product after you put 45 minutes into trying to force the fit. But I gotta tell you, there's a good chance this is gonna be getting returned or just thrown in the trash. I think it's trash. This cap right here was off when I unboxed it. It barely sticks on every time you shut it, it wants to pop off. This one's on better, but not much. And there's a bubble that you have to hold this down or pound it down after you lock it right on this driver's side. And you can see it's not, it's like it's bubbled in the middle. And you can't really adjust that because of the knobs that you have to put through the wrench hole and through the holes that are, are in there. So once you take it out and you go to unlock this thing, you watch that bubble over there. There it is, it just popped up. So anytime you're gonna open it, that's gonna pop up. And doesn't matter what I do right now, it's not gonna seal until when you come back and lock this down, then you gotta go around and like and, and hit and seal all the sides to get it to get into the track. There's really, I've been adjusting and trying and I'm hoping that maybe it's gonna, with time, work. But when it got here, the, the box wasn't in the best shape. It's got a bubble you can see right in the middle there where it's low and then it goes up and then it sort of goes low again, but it's not even a centered bubble. It's more towards this side, the, the driver's side. So I'm still trying to adjust, but between the way this side over here came together and then like even there, that little bubble, this is just, I, I, in my opinion, nobody seems to want to say it about this company, but I think this is a questionable design and I think it's kind of crap. I'm going to spend the extra money and get, uh, something a little better because this is garbage. I can't put that on a truck that's this nice.